I'm Ethan Owens from Fiasco Sports and SA Football and Magazine, and today I'm joined by Brett Backwell, Senior Coach of Prince Alfred Old Collegians Footy Club in the Division 1, and he is our Feature Coach of the Week. So, Brett, thanks for joining us. Um, just give me a quick, a quick insight into uh, your time with Prince Alfred and how you became the coach. Yeah, it's a, a little bit different. They, uh, so, 18 months ago now, uh, I got a phone call from the footy manager, Jim Parkinson, saying that uh, their senior coach had, had been moved into state with some work. Um, and they were, were looking for a senior coach and my name had popped up and, and would I be happy to come in for an interview and, and was it something I was looking at and at the time I, I probably decided to have 12 months away from footy um, but the fit was really good, fantastic club um, and it was an opportunity for me to step back into game and really control the footy club by myself and it's been fantastic, loved every minute of it. And by uh, time away from footy are you referring to uh, playing? Uh, no, no, so I've coached at, uh, assistant coach at SNFL for, for three years previous um, and just got a young family so we really wanted to take some time out and, and step away from that hustle and bustle of six, seven days a week at SNFL level um, and the AFL level to, to go back and, and spend some time with them and um, this was a good fit, you know, a couple of days a week, not the pressures of SNFL but, but really controlling a footy club and, and structuring them up the way I want and, and it's been fantastic, love it. So is the, um, I guess the part time feel to it being one of the, uh, the, the, the bigger benefits um, coaching at amateur level? Yeah, definitely the time frames. Um, very time poor with, with work and, and busy lifestyles outside with kids and stuff. Um, not to say you put any less time in it. There's a lot of time put in at home with uh, match-ups and reports and, and filtering through video edits and, and bits and pieces to, to make sure that game day we are switched on. Um, that probably doesn't get seen. Um, and it's a real balance between giving the players too much information and not enough. So we really work on that. Um, I do a lot of opposition scouting away from it. I've got people that go and watch games and then read reports and, and try and structure up game day. So there is a lot that goes into it behind the scenes. Um, but just the contact hours of two nights a week, sad day, um, just fits in better with our lifestyle at the moment. Absolutely. And what would you say is probably your, uh, your biggest highlight of being a coach so far? Oh, definitely, without a doubt, last year's um, grand final. Um, to win that, to come into Div 1 for the first time in, I'm not sure how many years, we've been around 90 years, the club, and, and to win Div 1 in your first year is fantastic. Um, you know, the footy club is super. Um, got some really great people around the club, some fantastic sponsors, um, you know, the Hackney, Moo, um, geez, it goes on, Hugo Warns, Wix Estates, uh, Paramount Browns. The, the club is really blessed with some, you know, Gerard Lighting, who tips a lot of money into the club, and, and just their support from outside, um, but also inside. We've got some really strong characters in the club, some great leaders, um, and it's just a good group to be around. Yeah, and um, look, looking back on last year, that Premiership, um, how do you feel like you guys have uh, regrouped for this year and um, uh, trying to defend your title? Yeah, look, it's hard. Um, in hindsight, probably winning the Premiership is worse than we could have done. We've lost a lot of players. Um, I think as a club, we've had 90-plus players haven't registered from last year. Um, so, we've look, as a club, we've had to drop a couple of teams away. Um, our depth is really being tested. Um, we've played nine or ten first gamers this year already. Um, so we've got some kids. Um, but the kids have come in and they're playing their role. So we've just got to get our senior players now to, to step up and, and really take the lead and, and take those kids along for the ride. And look, if we can get that right, we'll, we'll be around the mark again. So hopefully we can go back to back, but it's going to be an arm wrestle. Absolutely. It sounds like there is a big future ahead for Prince Alfred Old Collegians. Thanks, Brett. I'm Ethan Owens from Fiasco Sports and SA Football and Magazine. And today I was joined by Brett Backwell, coach of Prince Alfred Old Collegians Footy Club in the Division 1. And he was our feature coach of the week.